Hi pals, welcome to my channel. My name is Jules and I'm a Scottish Highlander on a budget. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. Uh, Angus and I really do appreciate it. Um, <laughs> so today I'm going to do a couple of videos. I'm just going to do one and then I'll do the other um, in quick succession. But I'll probably just post one today and one tomorrow. Um, I am um, happy Easter everyone sorry it's Easter Sunday so happy Easter I hope you've all the Easter bunnies visited yet and you've all got a nice little bit of chocolate to eat today I um, have a Malteser bunny Easter egg which is lovely um, didn't even have to remind the Easter bunny to come he just arrived so <laughs> that was lovely uh, lovely surprise um, so yeah happy Easter everyone we are going to do a um close out video just now and then i'll do a cash stuff in later um so i'll just put that to the side for now but um yeah i just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody that watches my videos um yeah my views are down a little bit just now um so if there's anything you think maybe i'm missing um that i can maybe do to make it a little bit more enjoyable for y'all um i'm very aware this camera angle is pretty rubbish but but it is what it is today um but yeah, just my views are down a little bit and I shouldn't let it bother me, but it does. It bothers us all. You can't deny when you are used to a few views and whatever, but let's not harp on. So we're going to close out the first week of April. I have been very good and I have uh, tracked all of my spending this week, which is go me, well done me. Um, so we're going to close out the budget. I'm scared to break this thing. Um... And then we will do cash stuffing for this next week um, in a separate video. So let's just go ahead and do, I'm going to do this bit first because it's easier to do first and then I can come back to it after. Okay, so we have spent on groceries, let's get the cal no, what's this called? Calculator out. So on Sunday we did the food shop, which was £30.26. And then I spent, again, £1.59 um, on Thursday for groceries. So we spent £31.85. And then I use sink and fans, which is different. And then fuel, I spent 50. I hope you can see okay. I don't know if this orange pen really works or not, but um, I like it in my book. So if you can't see, I do apologise. Um, I had a no spend day on Monday. That does not look like a smiley face. Um, I had a no spend day on Wednesday as well. I want to get a wee stamper thing. Uh, my spending, I spent £2.50 of that on Thursday. That was just for a bottle of juice and packet crisps. And work spending, I actually spent £3.90 this week for work spending. So that was good. And I didn't spend anything from miscellaneous. Is that all my spends apart from my nails? Yeah. So we put 40 into groceries. We put... 55 into fuel, my spending, miscellaneous and work spending all got five. So hopefully, when we go into the purse just now, fingers crossed, we should have change to match up with what we have. So let's just skip groceries for now. Um, we'll go to fuel. So I've already taken my receipts out. Piper's food we haven't touched yet. So fuel, we've got £5 left, which is correct. A wee substitute for brains. My brains are not working properly at all just now. My spending will have change with and miscellaneous. We have £5 left. And then my, I can come out of there now, my sinking funds has been depleted. Eating out has still got money in and plan spending. So it's just changed now. So this is all the change we have. 
plus the five pound from groceries. So if we take two pound fifty out for my spending, so we should have two pound fifty left over there. Work spending, we should have one pound and ten. And so now we should have his forty pound minus thirty one pound and eighty five. So we should have eight pound fifteen left. So we've got five, six, seven, twenty. Whoops, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three. That's eight, and then ten, five. I mean seven, nine, ten. 12, 14, 15, £8.15 left over and change. Awesome. That worked out perfectly. So tracking for me is working as long as I do it whenever I come home from spending, if I come straight to the book, which is good because now it's just left out. I've got a little, um, like a little, oh, you know what, it's the little thing. Hang on, I'll show you. A little, it stands on the top so the books slide in, but yeah, one of these things, like an A4 kind of holder. So it just sits on my desk and the book just sits in there, um, along with all the other stuff I need for my business. And then, yeah, so I can just pull it out right now and away we go. So yeah, that's good. So that all worked out. So we will transfer that over later. So let's go in now and do the rest of our budget. Okay, so I rolled over, can you see the writing? I rolled over £1,651.27 because I got paid last the last week of, uh, into the last week of March for this April. So that's why that's such a big rollover. Uh, I don't clear out my bank account at the end of the month or at the end of the week or anything like that. I don't do a zero budget, although um, I have a rollover, but like... I know I don't touch that rollover, if that makes sense. Um, and then I got a mileage payment from work for £237.96. And then I had other payments in. So that is from sales of my party light uh, that I sell. It's from um, Buy Me A Coffee. Um, and it is from, I had £1 something interest as well from my bank account. So... That all adds into there, so that's £57.49. And then I added £32.11 in from Etsy. And then I added £35 in from Sinking Fund. So I had £2,013.83. I'm just going to add that up again just to make sure. Without talking to you, because you know what I'm like with a calculator. Sorry, I've gone quiet. Yeah, 213.83. So then all my bills came out. So this is where it changes because we came into April, obviously. So things changed and uh, different payments. So um, I paid £100.73 £100 for my council tax, but that goes down to under 100 for the rest of the year. Uh, so that's just my first payment. So I knew it was slightly more than 100, but I couldn't quite remember how much. So 73 pence more. My car tax stayed the same, my car repayment stayed the same, that will always stay the same unless I choose to put it up. Pet plan, I thought it went up this month, but it must be next, so um, I think it goes up to like 16.50 or something. But yeah, it was actually only 14.39 this month, so well, that's good, I'm happy with that. My loan obviously stayed the same. Uh, TV and broadband, it was £61.90, so it's gone up from 59.50. Um, I knew it was going up, but I just kind of forgot how much buy, but yeah, that's okay. And then my mobile bill went up by a pound, and then I had 80 pence, which was picture messages. And I don't even know what picture messages I send, because I usually send them on WhatsApp, so I must have just not been paying attention. Um, So that's what the 3480 is there. My repayment of a, a very, 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 very old uh, debt is £10 and that won't change unless I change it. And then my rent, I overpay anyway, so it's 350 Um, My rent has gone up by, I think it's about a pound or something because I'm a council property. Um, it's a pound or something per month. 
but um, I'm still overpaying at 350 not by very much. So I, I might look into seeing how my finances go, but I might look into paying like an extra fiver just to kind of always be a little bit ahead uh, of my rent. My ninth payment for my printer came out, 3211, but I've covered that up here. And then Audible, which I'd forgotten about. Well, I hadn't forgotten about it. I know it comes out, but I just hadn't kind of thingied the date. But it actually came out at 7.99. It came out a little bit early. So, um, yeah, that was that was nice. So let's add all these up again. Apologies if I go quiet, but I just want to try and concentrate on what I'm doing because you know me and calculators, we are not friends. And I never seem to hit the right buttons. I'm finding if I use the pen rather than my fingers, it's working a little bit better, she says. So let's hope I don't mix it up now. But yeah, um, I think it's just my fingers hit wrong buttons and things like that. So. so my first week of bills came to 113942. So if we deduct the 799, um, Yes, a few pound more than I was budgeting, but then that is because of the different increases and things like that. So it's fine. It's okay as it is. Um, so then, yeah, forgetting what I was doing there. So the 2013.83 from earlier up here, we now deduct this £1,139.42 which is £874.41. Can you guys still see? So then I had my nails done at £35, so £30 for my nails and then I always leave a £5 tip. Um, I don't have to, I just choose to. So in case you didn't watch my last video, I got my nails done, I really love them. Lovely kind of springy kind of vibe i just really love this purpley color um so then i put 10 pound over to hyperjar to my credit card so an extra payment if need be i can bring it back into my budget so it's just there and at the end of the month if i don't need it i'll pay my an extra payment to my credit card so that leaves me with 82941 and then as planned i put 95 pound over to sinking funds I usually always put what I plan over to sinking funds, but um, sometimes it will change. So like this week, I accidentally took an extra £10 out of the cash machine. Don't know what I was thinking. So I'm just going to put that into my sinking fund. So I'm not left with cash left to go back to bank because that it just all gets confusing and you forget what money you've got. I like just to look on a Saturday night and see what I have left in my bank. Um, and that's just it. I don't have to worry about any extra cash unless obviously I get paid um, for sales or anything in cash. So now we are back to our cash envelopes, which we've already done. So let's find the page. I should really put a wee marker in here, shouldn't I? Okay, so for groceries, we decided that we spent 31.85. For fuel, I spent 50. For my spending, it was 250, wasn't it? Yeah, and then £3.90 for work spending. And nothing for. So much easier when you do it just on that little check in page, I find anyway. So let's add all those up. So we'll just delete that for now. So 31.85 plus 50. Plus two pound fifty, plus three pound ninety, leaves us with eighty two pound no eighty eight pound and twenty five pence spent on my cash envelopes. So seven three four forty one minus eighty eight point twenty five, which leaves us with six four six sixteen. And then I did put fifteen into my monthly. Why is that penny there? Pound there, I mean. Uh, 15 there and then £10 in there. 
so now we are going to see what challenges we need to do so we've got our notes we have um the rubrics challenge we didn't start this week so we will leave there the penny challenge and the unicorn challenge is what i'm going to be using for now for any leftover notes so we'll start with the unicorn challenge because that's just easier so that should be the front So this is the unicorn challenge so i've made it into a little envelope so you can have it as an envelope you can have it just as a tracker um that doesn't like that that doesn't open if you prefer and you can use like an envelope with it or you can get it in an envelope form i don't think i have any at the side of me just now um no i don't but i can show you this one here this is the me time one so you can get it like um in an envelope form so you get the front cover and then you get a smaller tracker exactly the same as that but sealed uh, in the envelope as well and that's all available on my etsy store so we are going to put the change in so we have got five ten and fifteen pound in notes so pen did i use i don't suppose it really matters So each icon is five pounds. So we'll score off that one. I don't think it was this pen, obviously. Um, that one and that one. That's a hobby craft one. That's why it must have been the a normal sharpie. Um. So yeah. So we have only got another four to complete, and then that's fifty pounds saved. So that is good. And then once I've done that fifty pound, what I'll do is I'll mark off on the back. Um, that I've done the first £50 and then I will just rub off the front and start that again until I've saved £250 on there. So for the unicorn challenge we put in 15 and now we'll go over to the penny challenges. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip the book over to the back pages to my savings tracker so i haven't updated them but i will um so we're not doing easter we're doing the unicorn because i didn't realize easter was so close to and i don't i was going to buy eggs for my nieces and nephews so i'm not going to see any of them so that's unfortunate i was invited by my sister today to go down for lunch um which was great i was so excited and then i spoke to my boyfriend and um he had been uh, invited by his sister to go out for lunch and she'd already he'd already agreed and booked so yeah i'm gonna have to fill in all this once i get going because i can't remember what was in everything and i'll just do it off off camera but let's start with the penny challenge no let's start with the pound it'd just be easier okay so we have one two three four Five. So we've got five pound coins and we've only got space for three. So I'll do that off camera. I'll complete it off camera. Um, but yeah, that's the, the first one that finished. That's exciting for me. So I'm just going to score off. So I've now saved 50 pound in, you bit close, 50 pound in pound coins. And then what I'll do is I will... Um, rub all this out and i'll do another two when i start so you know that they are done um so i'll do that off camera rather than put you through the rigmarole of me rubbing all that out and then we don't have any 50ps or two pound coins so we'll just go straight to the uh, penny challenge so that was five pound in the that's in the wrong place five pound in here so I just need to look back onto what I finished with in March for my pound coins, but um, right, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, one pound, 20, 40, 60, eight pound, pound 50, pound 65, one pound sixty-five, one pound sixty-nine, six seventy, one pound seventy-five. So all I'm told is one pound and seventy-five pence. I'm going to 
going to have to go through this jar, I think. It's really nearly full. And uh, empty that out and try and get some of it to the bank. Now that I've completed the pound challenge, I feel better doing that. Okay, so we have £1.75 and the next lowest we have to score off is 84. So minus 0.84, which leaves us with 91. So then the next one we have is 80, so minus 0.8, which leaves us with 11, which we can do. So this is a slow burner, but I feel it's quicker than the, um, for me, because I don't usually get enough of change. I do tend to use my change if I can, um, rather than break a note or, you know, whatever. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't get a huge amount of change, but I think if I was doing the 365 penny one, uh, yeah, I would just be getting nowhere. So, yeah, I'm quite enjoying this smaller one, although it is taking me a bit longer than some people, but I'm fine with that. Um, it's all adding up at the end of the day. All adding up. So, 175 and 5 and 15. So that's six seventy five all told in all of the penny challenges put together. So six pounds seventy five there. So hopefully this will add up to what is in my bank when we do that. So we have in savings challenges we have fifteen plus ten plus six pounds seventy five plus fifteen, which is four six seven oh seven five. So from the 64616, we will deduct the 4675, which leaves 59941. So I think we are a pound out. Close in my actual bank, hang on. Yeah, I have 59841 in my bank. So I should have 598. So I might have made a mistake somewhere in my calculations, but it's only a pound, so I am really not going to worry about that at all. It'll be somewhere either I've made a mistake in my calculations or something. So yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about a pound. Um, but yeah, £598.41 in my bank currently. So that's fine. So that is more than expected because, but that is because I had some sales. Um, um, so 59841. I had some sales and things like that, so that is why. And then I'm going to bring £500 in for next week with the rest of my budget for um, the last my payment from Etsy for the year. And then I'm going to do a monthly um, deduction, so it will be after tax, um, after I've left some, excuse me, some in the business and things like that. So it will not be a huge amount uh, unless you guys go crazy and buy loads and loads and loads. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then my YouTube will also come into my bank and this one that I get in April will go back out again after tax to my niece um but yeah that is that's that that's us for today then so I'm going to go off now and make a cup of tea and then do another cash stuffing sorry this is a long one guys if you're still here to the end thank you so much I have some time next week um in between my jobs so I am going to do my giveaway um and if I haven't done it, please shout at me over on Instagram and make me do it because I don't know why I'm putting it off. I'm just useless for giveaways and then I'm useless for the fact that I'll probably forget to draw it. Um, so, yeah, I will do the giveaway. Everything's just sat there. I've bought it all, so it's absolutely no use to me sat in envelopes. Um, so, yeah, especially the people that I bought from. If you are watching this, please shout at me and make sure that I do the giveaway because the whole point of it was to promote your guys' business. And I already know some of you are just absolutely smashing it anyway, so you don't really need my promotion. But um, yeah, give me a shout. Make sure I do it. But yeah, I'm going to go just now. Thank you for watching and have a great Easter Sunday. Bye.